Hello, this is Apostle Pastor T. Randolph again, welcoming you to another episode of I Care. Do you know that God loves you so much that he takes the time to do everything he can for you? He shows you the way. He teaches you. He guides you. He leads you. He provides for you. He's our source, and he gives us many resources. He does awesome things for us, and that's why we should have no fear because God takes care of us. And I just want you to recognize, again, the faithfulness of God. God is so faithful that it, 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 it's almost crazy to say he's faithful when we're not faithful. But that's what the Word of God says. Even when we're, when we're not faithful, he remains faithful. And the reason he remains faithful is because he cannot deny himself. Think about that. God is faithful to us when we are not faithful because he cannot deny us, deny himself rather. Because why? Because his Word is him. When he speaks something and he says something, that's him. And so he cannot deny himself by not doing what he said he's going to do. God is so faithful. God is so awesome. And that's why, again, I want you to hear this passage of Scripture again uh, from 1 John 4. There's no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment. Think about that just a minute. Fear is a punishment. Fear has to do with punishment. Fear puts you in, in trepidation. Fear causes you to uh, be locked down. Um, fear just, it, it, it denies you, oh my God, fear denies you of the full life that God intends for you to have. Think about that just a moment because God has, again, he's prepared an awesome life for us. Hallelujah. And when you fear, you come short of all the goodness that God has promised us and all the goodness that he has prepared for us. So he says, for fear has, has to do with punishment and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Amen. <clears throat> so now how does this, how does this really work? We discovered that perfect love, watch this, cast out how much fear? All fear. So how much love, how much fear is left when you when you wind up walking in perfect love? How much fear is left? None. All right? Not even God, listen to this, will control us, <laughs> will hold us or control us by fear. When we fear him, we in essence begin to live a life where we are fearless. Now let me say that again to you. God himself would not hold you, watch this, or control us by fear. God has made us free agents. God has made us free living creatures, free willed creatures, where we can choose to do whatever we want to do. And God, if you choose not to do the will of God, God's not going to stop you. If you choose to be afraid of something more than other than him, God's not going to stop you from that. What God really wants to see is you to love him as he loves you, watch this, and then, therefore, that perfect love will cast out all fear because when you, baby, 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 when you come to know the living God for who he really is and have had, watch this, encounters with him, where God really shows up and, 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 and you know it's him, fear will, fear, will, fear, will, fear will just go away. Amen. So uh, having no fear has a great impact on our lives, okay? We start our lives by, first of all, again, uh, fearing God. Amen. So fear, hallelujah, is something we have to overcome. Listen to me. How do we rise above the fears that control us? We have the fear of God. What? When we have the fear of God, we rise up above all other fears. Hallelujah. So it puts me in a situation where I don't have to fear anything because I know the living God is with me and I fear him and him alone. How do we become fearless warriors for the Lord Jesus Christ? How we do that? We fear God. In other words, we don't do things that are not pleasing to God. We live our lives to please him, to bless him, to honor him, and to keep his word, okay? God is bigger than every fear that you could ever have. I'll say that again. God is bigger than all your fears. So you have to fear him, trust him, give him place in your life. And his perfect love will drive away all fears. Think about that. When you give your wholeness to him, you give your life to him, you trust him, you put the fear of God first, then he brings you to a place where all the fears are driven away because you come to know the love of the living God. I care.